Hello everybody, it's uh, the 19th of January today and everywhere is still thoroughly uh, frozen but I wanted to take a quick look at this uh, clump of fused well I think they might be fused um, I'm not going to repot this year um, and the only way for certain to be able to sure that these seven individual trees have fused together um, will be in doing a full repot um, basically I took seven individual trees uh, birch trees grown from seed and wired them together at the base to create what I think is an interesting looking clump and today I just want to um, remove some of the wire that I put on earlier in the year like so and there is of course a, um, a playlist for this tree showing the, uh, the creation uh, through until the time when it went into this pot which I believe was the last um, last year I think I had this pot for Christmas last year um, And basically I've been growing it on hoping to get these seven individual trees to fuse into this one clump. This is my perceived front. Cooper's paying a lot of attention today. You're learning a lot. This is very good. Yeah. Um, and uh, I basically have been looking at this and thinking some of the trees at the back are too tall um, some of the trees at the front are too short and uh, although this is in a round pot and I could look at it from uh, almost any angle realistically um, it has a back and a front I think and so it could be looked at from this as a front all this is the front but I think this is my favorite view and so what I'm planning to do is almost perversely start off by cutting down this front one and this front one to a bud um, but I actually want to shorten these at the back quite a lot as it happens the other problem is um, the other problem I have with them is that there is very little uh, taper in some of these at the back either so by shortening them I can hopefully improve that so I'm going to take the drastic step of removing um, a large portion there and leave that as a new leader I like the way the trees are kind of growing out from one another as if they're all competing um, for the same amount of light as it were this one I'm going to take back to here um, and I think I'll put a piece of wire on there because that's shooting out at a too sharp an angle uh, as I say everything is still frozen including my fingers which didn't want to work just then okay so we put in a little bit of movement to bring that back up right again board coops this one um, I'm going to just shorten like so I think I'll leave that and we'll see how it extends and mayhap it'll need um, wiring later and then this one I'm going to remove back to there um, and again I think I'll just leave that piece and maybe wire it up once it gets growing other than that that's probably about all I want to do to it today um, as I said in other videos birch are prone to bleed if you uh, prune them um, too far into the spring once the sap starts um, flowing upwards rather like a Japanese maple they will bleed quite profusely so 
it seemed like a good plan to get it done now. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can clean off some of this moss, although it's so frozen. I might not uh, have too much success. I'm quite pleased. Um, kick the tripod, that's not a good plan. Okay, start again. Quite pleased with the um, structure of these trees have made. Um, I don't think I'm going to get all this moss off today. I think I'm going to leave quite a bit behind because it's just fully frozen. But I do want to get rid of as much as I can. And uh, well, I can do the rest another day when it's slightly less frozen. But yeah, there's the... Um, the root base is quite interesting. And I think once the um once the trunks are fused and eventually gain their silvery colour they'll look rather nice. So again quick three sixty on that. Back out again. I do rather like um, the elegant shape of this pot as well. It's, it's rather like a, a straw boater upside down. Um, I think as the trees thicken with age um, and get more chunkier, they will look better in this pot. But uh, because they've come from a much smaller pot, as you'll see if you look at the um, playlist, um, that this made quite a good training pot them to actually spread their roots out in. Quickly pop in the, um, the drinks can for scale uh, just to give you an idea of the, the tree's dimensions and then we will set that to one side. bring in this one now as I said there is a playlist on the creation of this clump and uh, at the same time I decided I would try and take a, an, another seedling that I had and just chop it very firmly at the base of the tree um, and try to make a clump from that um, as a kind of experiment to see which made a nicer, more convincing clump style tree first. A tree that was just chopped or seven that were fused together. And so far, well, this one hasn't done a huge amount. Um, it certainly hasn't done anything exciting. And what I want to do with it today is give it uh, a further pruning and maybe a little bit of wiring. I'm going to cut that back to there, cut that one back to there. I'm going to chop this one at the back. Just uh, quite considerably. And these ones, uh, I'm just going to shorten those two. And then I'm just reusing the wire that I took off the other one. Bring that up like so and then shorten it and I'm going to bring this one This wire is way overside for the job it's doing, um, but it's what I've got to hand. I like to reuse where I can, and uh, it's better for the environment not to have to keep uh, producing more bits of wire. And what am I going to do with these two? That one, I'm just going to put a loop of wire that I've got 
there I like so I'll just hold that one upright and then I'm going to do the same with another piece of wire for this one okay so that's a, a real mess of some wiring but has now brought those trees all up where I wanted them a little bit better let's move you in a little bit closer um, shorten that piece some more and that piece and that piece in fact going back to there and there and this one a little more as well okay 360 I'm not happy with this piece so I'm gonna prune it back to a bud that's just there yeah I think I'm relatively happy this piece is perhaps still a little bit long now um, And actually uh, bring that back to there okay so there you have it another little clump form forming uh, a quick 360 of that nothing very interesting at the moment but early days and uh, another two or three years maybe I'll start to have something forming from this and uh, subscribe and you'll be able to keep an eye on it who knows I might even put this in one of the new pots I have for Christmas come spring keep pop in the um, Duke's can for scale again and, uh, and that's about it that wraps it up for this one I'll say very much for watching i do really appreciate it do all the usual youtube things the subscribing the liking the commenting below but most of all please 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 stay safe everybody